hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys if your battery is 0% you have plug in the charger but it is still showing the 0% or the some other quantity like 10% or the 15% so this video for you I will show you how to troubleshoot this issue step by step so let's start without wasting our time guys so first of all we can try the uh, disable and enable the battery driver from the device manual since if the driver is not updated so hardware it is connected properly but software base it is not connected simply open the device manager once once you open the device manager you should go to the battery open on the second one and you can try to disable it once click on yes now again do the same setting with both here ok so once you disable both the driver here it should be disappeared now now you can re-enable both ones this will refresh all the settings here and this should fix your issue now and if still not fix your issue guys you can uninstall the driver here like uninstall it and uninstall the both the driver from here and thereafter restart your system and check the driver should automatically start it from the device manager and it should fix your issue so if it doesn't fix your issue guys uh, we have couple of options for you so in the second method or you can say in the third method we are going to update the BIOS driver BIOS is basically the input and output devices connected to the hardware so BIOS is the main driver for any external devices connected to the your computer or the laptop ok so go to the Dell driver in my case I am using the Dell laptop if you are using the HP laptop go to the HP driver and before that guide you should have the serial number knowledge of your product press window plus R button together type CMD or you can see the serial number backside your laptop so you need to type a WMI space BIOS space get serial number together like this and hit enter once you hit enter just copy the serial number like this hit enter it will copy and paste it here and click on search if it asks you to anything like install the driver so install that driver and then refresh this link and this will redirect you again to the, this website and expand it and look for your BIOS driver system BIOS select that option click on download so once you downloaded that you have to run it so go to the download section here so this is main step guys and double click on it to run so before double clicking on it you have to plug in the charger here without plug in the charger it will not run let me close this same do with the HP also go to the same link choose your laptop put here the serial number key the same way MS info 32 so but you need to make sure that you can see BIOS version is here the latest one so you need to make sure that the same driver 2022 you can see here same I already have it so plug in the charger double click on it setup and let it run your system is going to automatically restart after that and it will fix your issue after that if it doesn't fix your issue guys so we can monitor it from here like you can run the hardware diagnostic tool so type there Dell hardware diagnostic tool like this same terms you need to change it like HP diagnostic tool just replace it 
you will land to the same website okay just install it you can see here for Dell for the Dell it is going to start online directly but in the other manufacturer like Dell, Lenovo and other manufacturer you have to install its driver Lenovo diagnostic tool go there ok simply download this tool here Lenovo diagnostic windows and the exe should automatically you can see going to start run it so in my Dell laptop it is asking to download this test so let's download this also we have to download it it's a necessary so BIOS update is main so in this way we can find out where the issue is I mean the issue is with the hardware or the software now it's going to download now assistant tool you can do the same setting with the other manufacturer also Lenovo Dell it's going to take some time guys so let's wait here so it is running I should give you another step it's better to wasting time on this open the control panel also you can try this but this will rarely fix your issue but you can still try that if you are lucky so you can try this now here look for troubleshooting so you may see this steps in many other videos everyone suggest this step other troubleshooter and look for your battery or the power options in Windows 10 you should get that option but in Windows 11 I can't see it so if you are able to see the power option just run the troubleshooter here ok seems like it has downloaded so let me cut it and let me refresh this now ok let me try to run it on now now it's checking now and you can see it is going to test now all the component including your battery so on the hardware level guys you can remove the battery if you have the removable battery and plug in the charger with the laptop and then try and then re-plug it with the battery or you can hard flush the power like hold the power key extend remove all the external cables including power cables USB mouse any external cables if you have remove that and press the power key for almost 30 seconds so this will discharge all the socket errors from the motherboard so this might fix your issue if this is not related to the hardware and for the hardware related issue we are going to run this tool here so once it is running uh, let me show you in the windows 10 where you can run the power options in windows 10 also go to troubleshoot here type simply troubleshoot settings and once you open that additional troubleshooter and scroll down look for their option you can see power option is here just run it this will automatically detect your issue and try to resolve your issue so if you are able to find it in a windows 11 as well so you can run it and if you are lucky this will also work you can see it has fixed some issues but my battery is ok so that's not the problem so as you can see here I have lot of failures but we are basically looking for the battery options here 
okay as you can see here so this is the battery and I'm getting the warning here if I expand that you can see your battery is capacity is decreased it's normal for a rechargeable battery to decrease over the time the battery may eventually need to be replaced laptop battery usually carry limited one year as you can see here guys my battery is good but still I'm getting this error like this is a warning but if you are seeing this as a failure so simply you have to replace your battery so it's simple that you don't do anything on your system so don't perform any unnecessary steps on your laptop simply you need to replace your battery if this is failure nothing will work unless you change your battery okay and also you need to make sure that the charger as well as the power cable is okay on your battery if the test is passed here so hope this helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching